Okay, so um, welcome back to my new video. And in this series, we are going to be looking at Apache Flink. Okay, so I'm going to do a whole bunch of tutorials on Apache Flink. Um, so uh, Apache Flink is very similar to Apache Spark. Um, it's an alternative to, to it, and it's for um, stream processing. Um, so it has integration with uh, so many connectors like uh, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, um, MySQL, Postgres, uh, SQL, and all of that. So we're going to be looking at, our, at it. And it has um, the concept of source and sync. So the source is where the data is coming from. And then the sync is where, or the destination of the data. Okay, so you can see here, it's a stateful computation of data stream. It's a framework um, and a distributed processing engine for stateful computation over unbounded and bounded data streams. So what the bounded and, and unbounded data stream means is that unbounded is when the stream is coming in um, without stopping, okay? It's like a river flowing without stopping, okay? So the bounded is like maybe a data set, like a CSV file that you push into a Flink framework and then you process it, dump it somewhere, and that ends it, okay? So Flink has been designed to run in all common cluster environments, perform computation at in-memory speed and any scale. It has all these capabilities, correctness guarantees, layered APIs. You have the SQL, the data stream, the data set API process function, that is the time and state. And it has also operational focus that is flexible deployment. And then with the correctness guarantee that exactly one state consistency, event time processing, sophisticated late data um, handling. Okay. And it, it is also scalable and it has low lat latency and high throughput. And it also has in-memory computation. Okay, so these are some of the use cases, event-driven application, uh, stream and batch analytics, and data pipelines and ETL. So if you want to perform some ETLs on your data set, you can use it. You can use it for stream and batch analytics, and also for event and stateful applications. Okay, so um, that is that for uh, the introduction. So if I click here and say with Flink, this is the page that I'm going to get. And the version that we are going to look at is 1.18.1. And you can see here, Flink is designed to process uh, continuous streams of data at a lightning fast pace. Um, so you can also run it on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Um, you need to have Java 11 installed. So if you do this Java hyphen version, and also you can get the binaries here if you want to install it locally. Um, you can do it here. So I'm going to do the installation in a new video. Um, so this is just introduction. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Um, so I think that is that, so just the basic introduction. This is how you can start the flank using the shell. You can grab it, you can stop the cluster. And um, also you can also submit a job to flank using the jar file. You see, this is a word count jar file written in either Java or um, Scala, but in this tutorial, we are going to be using Python, the Python framework. Um, we are not going to use the Java or the Scala. Okay, so you can also tell the, the logs or the output of the job. And also there is this uh, Flank UI 
that you can start and view all the jobs that you've submitted. And um, yeah, so basically that is it. And um, in our next video, I'll show you how to get started with Apache Flink.